Well, hello there and welcome. It's Sunday morning, 28th of August, still in 2021. It's a lovely sunny day out and again, it's beautifully chilly this morning in comparison to, you know, for summer months or late summer months. Definitely, I keep saying this, definitely that autumnal nip in the air because I'm really looking forward to autumn. Odd signs of trees beginning to change colour, but not much really yet. But it won't be long, and it's my favourite time of year. So it's lovely to wake up and be cold in the morning. I know, it's weird. But I'm more comfortable chilly than I am overly warm, so a second wrap up if I'm chilly. So on to art. This was the drawing that I was working on yesterday. I think I showed you yesterday and it was uncolored. Oh, and I've added color. I used distress inks and I used um, some eco line inks and I've used colored pencils and finally I used chalk pastels. And I'm not entirely sure I've done a really good job with this. I think it's finished, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I've got this froth of circles up here to deal with and I'm not quite sure what to do about that um, but I've just finished adding all the embellishments I want to oh I've forgotten those leaves there that's fine I can come back to those at another time perhaps um, for now I think I'm okay with it I think um, I'm, I'm happier with it than I was and there are metallic highlights like the stars had to go gold because you've got to have gold stars and I think I get marks of perseverance. And I think that might be the word I try and fit in there is perseverance. But I was working on, I was thinking, what am I doing here? What am I doing? I wanted to try to keep things monochrome wherever possible, perhaps with small amounts of other colours. And this one, I lost the plot along the way. So I just don't know about it. It may be one of those ones I put to one side and several days later have a look and go, actually, that's not so bad. The other thing I haven't done is to put shadow underneath the elements to lift them off the background. Again, I may do that and I may just go after a few days. Oh, no, this is just I'm going to make notes on it and I'm going to remind myself to put a big sticky label or make a big sign to go up above my desk going monochrome only. Limit, very limited colour palette only. So there's that. Um, I have done, I've added a bit more to that. If you've seen that yesterday. And um, I drew that today. And I, I think that is actually finished as it is. I know I haven't used up all the page, but I like it as it is. And I, I'm, yeah. Uh, which one? I'm going to go back to this one because I've got the pencils out. Sorry for flapping back and forth between pages, but you know, this is what happens when one works in a sketchbook. So I'm going to stick with monochrome. So I reckon these will go pretty much with the colours of the background. And I'm going to add, use them to add shadow and highlight, I think. So let me start here. These are chalk pastels. Um, I do dither and wave around, waver around, um, the media I want to use, or I will use, shall we say, because, um, I think I start to get the feel of something and then suddenly I seem to go completely off base with it. I well it's me really. What can I say? But I actually do think that um pastels like this may be the way forward for me to a degree perhaps and uh the nice thing about them is they're relatively easy to use and I prefer to add shadow with colour rather than grey 
graphite works sort of um, but it doesn't work to my tastes generally whereas these lovely chalk pastels really can work really beautifully I've said this before they're the um, Stabilo Carbatello 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 not quite sure how it's pronounced but these are unusual in that there are parts of the um, for want of a better word lead the inside stuff that is water soluble so that you can pull some of the colour out of a damp brush which is an interesting thing to do and I think you can do it once it's been worked into the paper because obviously the water soluble I say obviously the water it's not obvious if you it's obvious to me as a chemist but the water as long as they're not pushed too far in or you know picked up on the torting arm then the water soluble parts of it will still move I'm sure I've done that I wouldn't say it otherwise maybe not as much as before blending but that can be quite useful this here I do want to extend this the more I use chalk pastels the more I like them it's, it is a bit of a love-hate relationship like it is for me with all traditional media I think other than pen and paper and sometimes pencils and paper when I'm drawing that's worked really quite nicely I'm gonna use just some kitchen towel just to pick up any loose bits and see where I'm going because I could end up doing this completely monochrome, you do know that. So this distress ink background looks like shaded lilac. There's a hint of blue in there. Not sure what the blue is. I think it might be broken china. Is it shaded lilac? It could be preserved pickles. It's not preserved pickles at all. Seedless preserves. Seedless preserve is the colour. But either way, this purpley colour is is really toning in nicely with it. And I quite like that. The other nice thing about chalk, these chalk pastels, is they are meant to be blended. They're really quite. They're nice and soft and. It's a lot easier to blend them than, say, um, graphite pencils or ordinary pencils of some kind. Coloured pencils. So with coloured pencils, you know, you can use a burnisher or a a, a blending pencil or um, some kind of liquid blending solution, of which there are a number, I think, on the market. And unfortunately, I can't. Even the odorless ones will set my asthma off. It's the chemicals, not the smell. So um, I'm unable to use those now. So it's the um, the blending pencils that I use, but they're quite hard work, and it's not so easy to blend them, blend coloured pencils smoothly like this. Obviously the aim of colour pencils is to use different pressures and to layer up to get the intensity of colour. Um, I'm not until, entirely sure I have the patience to do that to be honest. But, um, I'm going to add some of this pink colour because I think I just need a slight variation in colour here to help to pick up these different bits. Have a look and see how that works. It's soft and it's subtle, but it's nice. I 
course because I'm blending the colours out they will blend with each other and create a nice combination so I don't really get that a line where one colour starts and one colour ends. Um, I didn't do this one. I don't know. I suspect this is going to be my um, way of choice for now. Until I dig, dig and delve back into the realms of watercolour again. <laughs> it's working out what works for me with um, different With, with, sorry, not different, with, with distress ink backgrounds. You can tell I'm thinking here, and that means my ability to speak while I work goes out the window somewhat. It's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK, so I'm sure there are lots of people out and about. I did go out yesterday for a walk, and it was lovely because. There was a, a cool breeze, even though the sun was out. And even though I put sunblock on, I've caught the sun again on my face. So I'm going to have an outbreak of rosacea again. Uh, it's something I need to have a conversation with um, a doctor about or a medical professional. Fortunately, next week I've got a an annual review, an appointment for my annual uh, medical review thing, health review. So must remember to ask about that then. I'm hoping to go out this afternoon. I've got a meeting, a meditation meeting to go to um, later this morning and then I shall let the sun set in the sky a little bit. So towards the later parts of the afternoon, I think. I will then head out for a little wander around the dead centre of town. Okay, so I need some of that there, and I'll also need some of this because that's one of these, but I actually haven't done anything to add some shadow or colour to it. That's fine, that works. Okay, let's do this then. Often enough colour remains on the Tortillon, or the paper stump, or whatever you want to call these, the blending stick. But you can spread it out. Not so much with, with these chalk pastels as with others, but there is enough generally. I do like these two colours together, Cerise and... Um, purple it works really nicely together and I got white out just in case no it's not white actually it's actually grey glasses off where's the white that's no, not that one it's that one because where I've perhaps added Some colours. Some of my inks bled here a little bit, or you know, been rubbed around, but that's not surprising if I stop and think about it really. Because there's a lot of ink on the paper from um, the Uniballs. The um, distress ink makes the paper that little bit more porous, uh, porous, absorbent, and um, 
it, it does cause me some vexation shall I say right next thing well, I wanted it down that side now potentially I could get an eraser out and erase that line but I'm going to work with it because it will work out no matter what I could do a sharpening these this bit extra that side I don't mind blend out nicely I think yeah what's it there be fine and then oh definitely need to either sharpen these or do something about my targeting skills this would be quite nice to just lighten up one side a little bit more put those highlights back in but knowing me i'm going to go back and use um some well i have to do some kinds of embellishment don't i you know me i'm sure you get to know me quite well Those souffle pens and moonlight pens and others are going to be wielded with some kind of vengeance. Because I can, essentially, for no other reason. I think the trick here is to put the colour where I want it to use the paper stump to blend it into the paper and then pull what little remains to one side so I get that subtle change in colour. That seems to work mostly well for me I think. She had. if we can use the white just to add some highlight on one side so as if the light is catching this upper side I should have kept one of these clean for white really doesn't matter oh, that's interesting you can see that as I'm blending the, the white out, it's actually going over the black lines and lightening those. So it's adding to that feeling of perhaps being a little bit of a shadow there. A little bit more, I do. Okie dokes, let's have a look here. pink berries there. I think I'll leave the ones on the end clear because I can then use um, I'll use um, some kind of pen there either a souffle or perhaps a metallic or a glitter one just to add something to the ends of these rather than me struggling to try and get a chalk pastel in there one The space is so tiny. Oop, missed that leaf. It's okay. You can do that. Mm. 
Jackson. There we are, we get a sense of that. I do think I want to go back here with a bit more purple just to try to bring a greater sense of shadowing in there. I'm just making sure I only add that purple over, um, sorry, I'll start again. I'm making sure I only move the purple in the direction that I want the shadow to go. So I'm not, the aim isn't to spread this colour down, it's to add a, it's to add colour and darkness here. But I, I do want to, um, I do want it to blend so there's not a harsh line there, but I don't want it to travel down so far that you lose that. And that, I think, has increased that um, feeling of shadow here. So I'm going to do the same here. And I will go across the um, those spines or um, ribs between these. These shapes because they would have some shadow I think as well and there you can see I think that's worked that's lifted those up just that bit um, possibly have a look if I had some more um, blended out how does that compare to the others that's a bit better again so it is still a case of layering colour. It's a lot easier for me to do than coloured pencils. Yeah, that works a bit better, doesn't it? I could do with a darker colour, though I will acknowledge that. In the same way, I could do with some shadows going this way. I'm just working out, I think, where I want shadow and light to go with these. And I know I will get there. But it's all learning, and that's what sketchbooks are for. going through that process of how can I make this work, what can I do? How can I get it to work the way I'd like to get it to work? Well that's really, that's made a difference compared to the, the upper layer, so that's something I'm going to bear in mind. Well. It's nearly half an hour of me wittering and adding colour. I'm going to leave that here because I've got things I'd like to do before my meditation meeting and it'll take me a bit of time to process this and to get it uploaded. So I'd like to say thank you for joining me on a Sunday morning. Let me know which way you prefer in the comments. Lots of colour like this or the monochrome versions like this. Have you got a preference? Any advice for me? <laughs> I'm quite happy to take advice. Um, as long as it's constructive and helpful and um, polite, would be lovely. But anyway, do take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves. 
enjoy the rest of your day, your evening or whatever time of day you happen to be up and please find some time to be creative. For now, bye bye.